This minute of Skate the Infinity starts with, ooh, let's get the feelings. (laughs) I wish I prepared the song. (laughs) You can. And ends with, Sureumo. (laughs) This is minute 23 of episode two. Awesome for the first time. All right, um, it's the ED again. We're back. We're back with the ED. Welcome back to Infinite Minute, an anime by minute podcast where we talk about Skate the Infinity Minute by Minute. I'm Jonathan. I'm Caitlin. And this is another minute that's in the show. We've talked about this. This minute appears like 11 times, I guess. They probably have one of those fancy ones where they don't show the ED, but the music plays. I don't you know, those? know. Oh, maybe the very last episode. I reckon the last yes, episode. Yes, yeah. you would be correct, I think. Yeah. I, w- I think the song plays, but it's, yeah. Yeah, it's for sure. The the funny Which, little... To be honest, I kind of love when EDs do that. Yeah, so do I. <laughs> yeah. And it's also a very, like, first episode pilot thing as well, when yes. they haven't done the visuals yet. Yeah. It usually happens at, like, a pivotal point mm. in the series as well. Or sometimes I wonder if it's just because they have too much content for the episode and they're yes, like, we yeah, don't have time happen. for the ED, so yeah. we'll just uh, put the credits over the top of this scene. <laughs> Re-Zero, which mm-hmm. is like the, the most popular isekai anime, pretty much, unless you don't count Sword Art Online, I guess, um, that like had the problem of too much content to the point oh. where they would actually extend the time of episodes. Oh. And they just wouldn't show the OP or ED. Like some episodes, like I think the second series went like six episodes before they actually showed the ED or something. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. I've um, not seen either of those shows. Um, ReZero season one, really good. Yeah. And then I rewatched it again to get up to date for season two and just like got completely burnt out on it. Oh, really? Yeah. I don't know why that is one of the only series I've rewatched. When I didn't really enjoy it that much, <laughs> it's weird. maybe you were like, maybe if I watch it again, I'll I'll like it this time. Oh, yeah, I'll like it this time. But yeah. then yeah, season two just dragged. Yeah, fair. Um, but people love it. It's really popular. Um, anyway, skate the infinities, ed. Skate the infinity. We're back again. I mean, we're probably not going to talk much <laughs> about the ed, to be honest, because we're get, we've got like you know ten more times to give it a red hot crack. Yes, we do. Or nine more times. We did discuss last time, we, we probably will have just a bit of a chat about what we're watching at the moment during the evening. Yeah. Yeah. So um, I've pulled up my anime list. Um, I've got all the things I'm currently watching and all the things I've dropped this season <laughs> as well. But this, I did just this... see something on the top of your anime list that was <laughs> dropped and I, I was like, oh, that's so harsh. It's yeah, so harsh no. when it's just like, Jono has dropped this. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love it though. I used to be very anti-drop, like to the point, like probably at the start of this year is when I really learned my lesson. Yeah. Because I watched, uh, I can't even remember the name of it. I watched this whole series um, and again, very popular fantasy series about a witch who travels around and each episode was self-contained um but it just took itself a bit too seriously but i watched the whole thing because i was like maybe it's gonna come good and then it never came good yeah and i was like i should have just fucking dropped this like six episodes ago yeah so i've learned my lesson (laughs) um but yeah we're currently in the fall or autumn season i i think in japan yes even though it's summer here yes is it summer yeah. yet? I think we're in spring still, aren't we? Us? Oh, no, we are still in spring. <laughs> How do seasons work? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, pardon me. I always do that as well. I can never remember if summer starts in November or December. Yeah. Well, I mean, we're a week away. We're and very close. Yeah. Which that is, being said, in though, itself is terrifying. <laughs> yeah. Oh, apparently we're going to have a really wet season because... Yeah. Uh, La Nina. Oh. Yeah. The, Is that the, the bomb, word for... The bomb has announced, Bureau of Medi- Meteorology, <laughs> has announced uh, that we are going to have a La Nina a event. La Nina. La Nina. Ooh. I know. I did see a funny TikTok the other day that was like um, normal, like every Australian just checking their weather app in the morning to go outside and decide what they're going to wear for the day. And then it was like... 
Melburnians like <laughs> consulting with the Bureau of Meteorology every hour. <laughs> yeah, it's so work. true though. Like it's insane. Yeah, I legit look at the precipitation percentage for every hour, <laughs> or like the hour when I'm going to be riding to work and when I'm going to be riding home. Because oh my god, and the amount of times I've caught like the only hour of the day when it's pissing down yeah. and I'm to work, it's awful. Um, oh but yeah, no. we're gonna. It's gonna be a wet, hot, wet summer. <laughs> Um, <laughs> Lovely Loving it um, Yeah, so Katie, why don't you tell me what you've been watching lately Or t- uh, tell all of us what you've been watching lately Are you watching anything that's currently airing? I actually am, am not <laughs> Wow I actually am not watching any of the new season stuff I'm watching a lot of uh, old stuff Funnily nice. enough um, catching up on a few things that I've been meaning to watch for a long time. Oh, that's good. Um, one of which we are watching together and we've briefly talked about this, I think on other episodes, but we've, we've both been watching our revolutionary girl Utena together with mm-hmm. um, Mitchell, our art friend. Um, <laughs> and that has been really enjoyable. We've, yeah, it's we've really been good. Almost spreading it out like it is a being released weekly, which has been really fun as well because we like check in at the end of every week to discuss the episodes we've watched. It's kind of, it makes it more like a club vibe. Yeah. Almost. Um, Um, Yeah, I love the week to week. Yes. Um, We do watch two episodes a week because, I mean, one episode a week would be almost torturing ourselves. Yes, I think so. Much like watching one minute of an anime. (laughs) Yeah. Um, yeah, yes. Nintendo is great. I'm loving it. Um, I yeah. was a little bit, I think like when I started, I was like, I don't know how I'm going to feel about this, but, mm. um, I don't know what, what I, I don't have necessarily have anything against the old animes, but I'm just, I just was like, oh, I don't know what the vibe's going to be like, but, um, it's really fun so far. We're about halfway through, um, yeah. and I'm really enjoying it. It's so colourful and, like, very much, like, Sailor Moon vibe that I'm getting from, like, the characters and everything. Um, mm. Yeah, I don't know. I'm really loving it. Yeah, I'm, I'm – I am the same as you. Like, it starts pretty slowly, mm. I would say. Um Although, that being said, she's pretty much thrown in right from the fucking get-go. Yeah, first step, she's um, just like, cool, gonna yeah. have a sword fight. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, one of these tropes that I don't think you see as much, like, we get, like, little recaps at the start of episodes for, like, maybe 50 seconds before we launch into the OP with these modern animes. Mm. With these older animes, they love reusing, like, the same two minutes, three minutes of animation in multiple places. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Like, uh, with Touch, maybe for, like, the first 25 episodes, Mm. they have this bit where it's, like, one of the main characters is, like, we grew up next door to this girl and blah, blah, blah. And it, like, explains the backstory of the characters, like, every episode. They do that on Utena pretty frequently They do it on Utena, yeah. Yeah. That bit where she's, like, um, one one day there was a girl whose parents died. I'm really paraphrasing. No, but that's that's basically it. And a prince came down and gave her a ring and it might have been an engagement ring, but it was a rose seal and now she has to fight people in duels (laughs) and go through the same three minutes of animation when she goes up to fight the duels. But it's got an awesome soundtrack. (laughs) Zetai Unmei Moku Shiroku. I'm so sorry. It's such a banger. (laughs) It's such a banger. Go listen to Zeta Ume Mokushiroku. Or even just the the OP. Fuck the OP. Yeah, the the OP bangs. Yeah, slaps. Both are great. They slap. Everything slaps. Yeah. but Just good, yeah. There are like, yes, as you said, huge chunks of animation that get reused every episode. Yeah. Um, Definitely watching for the plot, I would say. Yes, but then, then the we goes. every now and then we get these episodes that are like bonkers, absolutely, in, absolutely batshit crazy episodes <laughs> yeah. that filler. are filler, but like filler to the point of insanity. Like, yeah. but um, and it's all based around Nanami, yeah, this, this one, one character. character, yeah. And they try to give her these serious moments, but they just come off it as a bit like. <laughs> 
you can't take her seriously because literally like the episode before she's traveled to India to get a special spice to make a curry and there's a running joke of elephants always running around of India. <laughs> and it's just so ridiculous. Um, but um, her outfit is like on point. I love her yellow. I love Nana Her outfit. yellow council outfit. Oh. Almost like Kill Bill. Yes, it is actually. Yeah. It is. She has got a bit of a bride vibe. Love it. With her two little swords as well. Yes. Anyway, that's I'm watching that obviously with you. Yeah. I'm watching um my sister bullied me into watching My Hero Academia, which mm. had always been on my list for a really long time. I had actually watched season one. Um, and I don't know why. I think I just got a bit overwhelmed with how many episodes there were, and I was like, this yeah. is really gonna be a commitment. It's a um, big boy. But I'm like halfway through season three of that now, and I'm still really enjoying it. I just don't have that same like like, oh, I really, really have to watch like a few episodes of this tonight. Like I can't, that yeah. I had with Attack on Titan and Haikyuu and stuff like that. But that might also be to do with the fact that we're out of lockdown now and I have more things to do. Yeah, there's just generally less time to watch anime at the moment. Yeah, it's a bit like that. Yeah. Um, Sad. Which is nice that we get though. these little moments where, and you know, we watch Utena, um, or at least try to watch our episodes of Utena. Yeah. And... Yeah. I'm also watching – I'm watching number six um, with mm. Valentina as well, which is really, um, really good. So I was yeah. like not sh- – again, another one. I think I do this with most animes. I'm like, I don't know how I'm going to feel about this when before I start it. And then I watch the mm. first episode and I'm like, oh, this is awesome. Yeah. Um, so I think when yeah. you told me, I the first thing I said was, I dropped that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Um, but it's good so far. And the, That's good. the boys kissed in the last episode and I was very... No, no. I know. I was like, wait, this is gay? And she was like, yeah, it's gay. And I was like, oh, my God. Yeah, <laughs> yeah shit's gay. I got very um, excited. What episode are you up to? Spoilers oh, for ooh, number six, ooh, everyone. Oh, shit. We might have to put this in the episode description. Spoilers for all of these animes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, episode seven. Okay, yeah. I only got up to episode three. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but that's what I'm watching. My other ones are on hold at the moment. Aquatope's nice. on hold. I should change that to on hold. Mm. Yeah, you are you got you finished the first arc of Aquatope, yeah. right? Yeah. Yes. The second arc feels like a different show. Yeah, and I think that might be why I've not yeah. been so keen to... I also feel like I was a bit gay-baited mm-hmm. <laughs> in that one. Yep. Yep. Um, so I'm a bit It sad. definitely feels more fluid now. Yeah. Like there's little hints here and there that they aren't going the sister route. They are or they aren't? Aren't. Oh. Yes. Okay. But again, we might just be getting baited yeah. again. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, for a show that I so um, endearingly nicknamed Gay Fish, it was not very gay. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> It was very sister fish. Yes. We've talked about, We've this, talked before. about this before. Um, I'm still watching Aquatope. Yes. Yeah, I think I'm basically up to date. Yeah. Um, and yeah, it's a different show. It's it's become like a work-based anime. So interesting. Yeah. And like they all work at the aquarium that was uh, hinted to be opening at the end of the first arc. Um, like all of them work there. Yeah. Like even the girl who worked in the tourism department. Um, yeah. The only one who doesn't is Udon Chun, but yeah. she works at a diner nearby and they're always uh, visiting her. Mm. Um, there was a bit of a, a hint of a, a ship with Udon Chun and another girl. Oh. Um, but I again, love Udon Chun. I love Udon Chun. She's, she's, so she's best girl, mm. um, other than Fuka, which Fuka's arc has been really good. I will say oh, that. Okay. Fu- yeah. Fuka's arc is really. I mean, they literally baited us with Fuka because she wasn't in the promotional materials yeah because she went and off then to they film added her movie. back in yeah they added her back into the promotional materials mm. um but it's cute they live next door to each other um there's yeah as i say hints uh like that there's a bit of a love triangle going on Ooh. Um, yeah i might between, have to pick it back up yeah between kukudu fuka and kai <gasps> um but yeah not Kai and Fuka, but like Fuka yes. and Kai vying for Kukuru. Yeah. But I'm Fukuru or Kukuka all the way. <laughs> <laughs> Always have been. Always Shit name. Be. Yeah. 
Fukudu. Um, yeah, so I'm still watching Aquatope. Uh, and I dropped two shows this season. I dropped Blue Period. I watched the first half of the first episode, and it's a show based around art, and I was like, this art is bad. I have seen a few people say that they've dropped that, though, or they've yeah. said it's not as good as the manga. Yeah, the manga's supposed to be, like, the one of the best. Yeah. Um, and the anime's just not living up to it, but also, like, uh, just classic anime tropes. Like, the main character is, like, you know... Uh, life's hard. I try to fit in everywhere, but I'm also perfect and a genius. And it's like, well, fuck's sake. Uh. <laughs> That's uh. a classic anime trope. Uh, and he's just going to be, you know, brilliant at art as well. So whatever. Um, <laughs> dropped it. Uh, and I dropped Sakugan, which had really good vibes to begin with. I remember messaging you about it. Mm. It's about a father and a daughter going on like a grand underground adventure in a giant mech. Oh. Um, but by episode four, it had just like derailed into this weird sort of thing where they were just telling different stories and I was expecting. Oh, okay. Yeah, like it's very much self-contained. They travel to different areas and each area has like a little self-contained plot ep- one episode arc. Yeah, okay. Um, And yeah, there was just some like kind of homophobic stuff in episode <laughs> four as well. Um, And it was just a bit cringe in general and I like literally dropped it like – six minutes before the end of the episode, I was like, I'm not enjoying this at all oh, and no. just stopped watching. <laughs> yeah, but the first uh, two episodes are a banger. Like just <laughs> th- those two episodes you alone. You almost watch them as just perfect. like a self-contained little thing. Yeah. Because, yeah. I mean, even the tone, episode one had this really great whiplash moment at the end of the episode. I won't say what it is. Yeah. But it felt like the tone was going to be semi-serious, but it's just gone full tilt comedy, which is really oh. weird and not funny either. Yeah, um, comedy in yeah. air quotes. Yeah, um, not good. I feel like um, I, it's good because you generally watch all of the animes and then <laughs> I don't have to. I like to, filter. I'm and you filter. can filter them out for me and tell me which are the good ones. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, maybe that's what we'll get out of this. Yeah. We'll get you watching at least one new thing this season. Yes. I'm, I want to um, watch the the King one. Yes, yeah. yeah that's, that's my highest rec. Yeah. I'll um, to it. No, don't. <laughs> <laughs> um, a couple of my currently watching that are just like sitting around. Uh, still, third season of Diamond No Ace will always be there. Um, <laughs> Wait, you've finished it though, haven't you? I finished the second season. Oh, but then didn't yeah. you say you were going to go back and rewatch it? Yeah, I watched like three episodes in one sitting and I was like, mm, I'm full. <laughs> 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 and then I haven't watched any more. You just had a tasty little snack. Yeah, a tasty little baseball snack. Yeah. Um, initial D, I'm halfway through the second season of that, which, again, it's the thing of, like, you know, when they change the OP and you just kind of get a bit, like, yeah. weirded out. Mm-hmm. In this one, all literally all the character designs changed. <gasps> and I was just like, what the fuck? Because the studio changes, like, every season for yeah, initial D. Yeah, right. Really weird. Um, Do you know what's really funny when I watched Haikyuu all the way through for the first time, I did not notice the animation mm. change between season three and season four. Like, I, I did think I not did notice it at all. And then I heard people saying, like, the animation wasn't as good. And I was like, what Real are you girl. talking about? And then I went back and, like, actually looked at it. And I was like, oh, wow, it's actually, like, super different. <laughs> yeah. But I hadn't, I didn't just didn't notice it the first time. I don't know why. Yeah. It's kind of, I, maybe it's because we binged it as well, but I kind of didn't notice it with attack on titan either like the most noticeable thing about it is the cg titans yeah right uh when it changed from uh studio whip to muppa yeah i didn't notice it either yeah, yeah. but muppa has like a pedigree anyway it's not like it went to like some <laughs> studio <laughs> true um what else touch is always going to be on there it's like a hundred episodes long oh my god <laughs> and i'm only about halfway through so um utena which we're watching yes. together um, and yeah, really enjoying, but has those nineties tropes that it just, sometimes you just like, <sighs> oh, oh, none of me's transforming into a cow. I'll just go on Reddit for this episode. <laughs> but we've also, on Twitter. I don't, I can't remember if we've t- touched on this before, but there are some like uncomfy kind Ooh, yeah. of tropes in there. Like there's a quite a lot of brother, sister, lots of younger sister. Yeah. Stuff. 
which I don't know if the uh, creator of Utena has a younger sister, um, but they they should have been in therapy like 20 years yes. ago. Yes. Either one of them. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Um, even uh, his uh, his next show, which I've I've mentioned before, uh, Mawari Penguin Drum, that has a lot of sister stuff as well. Get some therapy, yeah. my friend. <laughs> yeah. Stop looking at your sis. I mean, it's all the rage at the moment. Step step brother, I'm stuck. Um, <laughs> step brother, I'm a rose bride, and I'm stuck in the washing machine. Um, so oh, this God. season, I'm also watching. Uh, Tact OP Destiny, which I've kind of stalled out at episode four. I think that's maybe up to six episodes now. Oh. And it's getting to the point where I'm like, if I don't watch an episode soon, I might drop it. Yeah. But um yeah. I don't know what it was with that one. The 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 second episode has been the best so far. Um they introduced some pretty cool characters that have just been put on a boat now. So mm. um <laughs> yeah, you know. Yeah, they literally just like, hey, cool characters for two episodes. We're we're off now, bye. Oh no! Um, that were training the main two characters up, but that one's like, uh, you know, post-apocalypse world where music is banned and conductors um, control these uh, magical girls called music arts, and they've all got really cool character designs. Like the character designs are really yeah. sick, um, and the main two characters are just a bit too edgy. The main guy is a bit edgy. Okay. Um, but the second episode was really good because it gave them a bit more backstory. The first episode was very much just like battle yeah. <laughs> animation budget. Yes, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but that's one I've been watching out for since the trailer originally. Cause, and it is Muppa as well. It's Muppa and um, someone else. Not Bones. Uh, Madhouse. So both have yeah. a pedigree, but... Yeah, something something about it. It's just dragging a bit, maybe. It might also be because they haven't said how many episodes it's actually going to be. Oh, so who knows how long it's going to yeah, be. Yeah, you don't want to commit to something that's going to be like 50 episodes or something, maybe. Yeah. If yeah. you're not that invested in it. If it's going to be like... Yeah, pretty much. If it's going to be like 10 episodes, you'll be like, yeah, okay, I'll push through and watch it. But like, So it hasn't been like too good a season. <laughs> yeah. We've definitely dropped off because I remember like earlier in the year I was watching like six seven yeah. shows at once yeah Same. but again lockdown yeah right yeah it bred this environment to just watch anime it really did i'd mm. watched so much i checked my so it's been probably i think it's just been a year since i started i watched fruits basket seasonally yeah yeah and Aaron made, uh yeah my sister made me watch fruits fruits basket and then i watched Oren again because i'd watched that years ago and nice. I was like, I want more anime. And then I watched Haikyuu, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Haikyuu, <laughs> like four times. Um, <laughs> but since then, I think I checked my, like, total thing. And I think I'm at, like, 12 days worth of anime, which is not that bad, is it? No, it's not that bad for a year. For when a you think year? about it, like, it's been a One whole day, year. Yeah. 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 That's not that bad. One day a month. One day yeah. a month, that's what I mean, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, which isn't too bad, um, but... Yeah. yeah, I mean, I'm probably going to, you know, watch some... Initial D is kind of like my work show when I have to work overnights. Yeah. I just chuck Initial D on in the background and do admin. Oh, that's kind of comfy. do you put it on as the, the dub? Uh, yeah, sometimes yeah. if I have to concentrate yeah. um, on what I'm doing. But the dub's really funny anyway. I love... Oh, I that's kind of good. love the dub, yeah. Yeah. Um, did you yeah, talk about the boy. King's show? We've talked about no, this on a, with another episode, I yeah, think. Yeah, so I'm saving it for oh, last. This sorry. is my favourite show of the season. Yeah. Um, oh, Summer Ranking. It's the one I'm keeping up with. Um, I've, I've forced another friend to watch it and we talk about it week to week as well. Um, it's just really good. It's like there's no – it's like the animation, sound, design, uh, characters, storyline, plots, everything in it is like – basically flawless like it's a 10 out of 10 in progress um just everything about it i don't know how to explain it i'm all, gonna watch it all today. the characters <laughs> I... all the characters are so gray like there's no black or white you never know what someone's intentions are the only character you really know the intentions of is the main character um bodgy um because he's just so pure and innocent and just wants to get stronger 
oh. so he can like you know become a king oh. um it's so good but then there's just all these side characters that you get introduced to when you're first introduced to them i punched my mic <laughs> i'm so excited i'm gesticulating <laughs> punching my microphone punching air right now bro um just all these characters you get introduced to as antagonists and then they get like a tiny little spotlight shone on them and you're like, oh, I completely had you pegged wrong. Wow. Like, it's, it's really good in that regard. So highly recommended. Um, very good. It's not shonen either. I'd say it's seinen. So like main audience is older guys, but like oh, whatever. Okay. Um, it, it definitely has a bit more maturity about it than like a, yeah. sh- a shonen battle yeah. show. Um. Yeah, it's just really good. Wow. And I, I can't I don't want to say more because I'll spoil it, but Yes, um, I'm gonna watch it. I yeah. trust you, I'm gonna watch it. I'm gonna put it on my watch list I, right now. Like five out of six episodes, I've cried. <gasps> oh my god. Yeah. And it's just yeah, it's just that kind of show that like you you really uh as as the Americans would say, you root for the main character. Yeah. You 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 um, you know, you barrack for them. You barrack. you're on their side barrack um yeah it's really good and it's yeah the only show i can remember ever where a, a literal blob one of the characters is just a blob with eyes a literal blob's backstory has made me cry <laughs> <laughs> and he's a blob how <laughs> many apps has there been so far uh six okay. i think the seventh one comes out on friday okay. i reckon i can catch up today yeah yeah, but great show, um, and that's what I am watching for this fall season. Fun, fun. I've been really bad. Yeah. But I also think it's partly because, like, usually I'll see people getting excited about a show, and I don't think I saw people get getting very excited about any of the shows this this time around, yeah. at least on the side of Twitter I'm on. I didn't see yes. a lot of people getting – and I haven't seen a lot of people posting about any other shows that have very much – of, of new stuff, at least yeah, the people that where, I, hang where I hang out. Um, yeah, usually I. See well, I kind of feel like um, I I'm sad that Remain wasn't as popular yeah. as it could have been. Remain kind of flew under the radar a bit. Yeah, but I mean, when you're watching these shows season to season, like only two or three will come out of the year as classics. Yeah, when you say like, oh, what's what's a show from 2021 that everyone watched? It'll be like skate. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't reckon it'll even be skate. Oh man! To be honest, which is sad to say. I just feel you like know, we're going to be watching it for years. Yeah. <laughs> but it's just I find it. I think it's just interesting because, and again, this could be because I've curated a space that um, for myself that is very skate centric. Yes. But yeah. I feel like this year. Like I see a lot of, there's been a lot. there's been a lot of skate and there still is a lot of skate. People are still creating skate content nearly mm. what, 10 months later, 11 months later. Whereas like, I feel like Bakuten came and went, Remain came and went, but, but the things yeah. that people were excited for, people were excited for Bakuten and then it just kind of like came and went. Yeah. I don't I feel see like content for that coming much. out. Yeah. Let's, let's Even Gay Fish, people were so ha- excited for Gay Fish and then it just kind of like. winter. Uh, Horror Mia was another one. Horror Mia, yeah, yeah. Started out really strong and then just fell yeah. off completely. Uh, JJK, I'd say people are still talking about JJK. JJK, definitely. I'd say that's one of the big shows yeah. of of this year, and obviously Attack on Titan. Yeah. Wow, that was that season stacked. Wow. Yeah, I feel like the Wonder first half of this year was really strong. Huge. I think it was the next season after that one because that was winter. Mm. Um, I feel like spring was hugely yeah. busy. <laughs> I, f- I still haven't finished Super Cub and that was in spring. <laughs> Whoops. That's still there. Yeah, Fruits Basket, Bakuten, Megalobox, Odd Taxi, Cubbity. We were watching heaps then. We were watching so much. Yeah. I still have Tokyo not finished Avengers. Cubbity. <laughs> wow. I've got like three episodes it. left. It's, it's, it's very close. Drop it's it. on hold Do and it. I'm like. Drop it. It'll feel good. You'll feel great. Yeah. It feels It feels liberating to drop an anime. <laughs> I think I might have to. Forever. Yeah. Do it. Do it now. Oh, get the, what else get have the, I got um, on hold? Get the endorphins kicking. Oh, I'm not going to drop what, I'm not going to drop what a koi because I, I will finish that. It's very, very good. Yeah. Um, I'm just watching it with my friends, so I can't watch it 
Yeah. I mean, this is like, okay. this is the thesis statement of Skate. This is like, you watch, you do things with your friends yeah. that are fun. I also and, have Diamond Oasis on hold. <laughs> <laughs> Drop it, Katie. Drop it's it. going to be dropped. I'm so sorry. Drop, Drop it. Drop it. Yes, I it feels it. good. And then cover you. Yes. Dropped. Yes. <gasps> okay, now I've only got three what things a on hold. My what sister a also forced me to watch Hana Hana. Um, so I've got two episodes of that and it's on hold because will I pick it back up? Not until I finish my hero. <laughs> Drop it. Drop it. There's only so many shonen battle animes you can watch. I will watch. I'll watch Hana Hana eventually. It'll just, yeah. but there's again, there's like fucking a hundred and something episodes. It's so many. Yeah. Well, um, should we talk about the ED of Skate the Infinity for a bit? <laughs> we can do that no, a little bit in the next shouldn't. episode. Yeah, we can. Um, and maybe talk about other ED, a couple, maybe some other EDs that we like. Yeah, and one of these EDs, we're definitely going to have to analyze the, the lyrics. lyrics. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Maybe we'll have to wait until episode four, of the, so, and we can do the lyrics for the OP and the ED and have like That's a, a good idea. For episode four. I like Let's that. Let's lock that in. Locked in. Lock nice. it in, Lock Eddie. It in, Eddie. <laughs> yes. It's a reference to... No uh, one is going to get that. Who wants to be a millionaire? Except Chris Lilly, who's listening in Sydney. Fuck. If you're listening, Chris. Um, sweet. Yeah, we uh, we said we were going to talk about anime watching. We did it. Did it. Um, yeah. And we didn't Sorry have to talk if you about expected trees. us to talk about Sorry the ED. Sorry if you expected us to analyze the ED in great detail, but um, not going to happen. Not and happening. we'll, we'll like full disclosure. This will all be in like this will be like just anime chat. Yes, <laughs> like anime chat number one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it will be the title of this episode. And probably, uh, likely, future EDs will also follow this same pattern. <laughs> yeah, that's why I'll, I'll establish number one. <laughs> <laughs> Straight up. What was your favorite moment? <laughs> um, my favorite moment was watching Utena with you and Mitchell. Katie. Oh, stop it! I'm really enjoying it. I feel like it's like just been a way to catch up. You it know? is nice. In the same way that this has been a way to catch up. Yeah. Because I feel like there was like four years where we just didn't talk to each other. You know? A little bit, a little bit like yeah. that. But but I feel like that was the same with everyone. When yeah. I moved to Ballarat, you just don't talk to anyone when you're living in Ballarat. Yeah. It's like you're in a different world. Yeah. No, it's been nice. It's been good, like, reconnecting with all of Catching you guys. Up. Yeah. It's been really fun. Yeah, well, it's your favorite moment. Also watching Utena with you guys. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Utena's I'm really great. enjoying it. The, oh, my God, the OP, guys. Just do yourself a yeah. favor and listen to the OP. You'll get so I'll link it. hype. I'll link it. You'll get yeah, so, so, so hype. Yeah, and those Eurobeat remixes that Mitch linked as well. Oh, my God. They're so that good. was so good, the dance tracks. Oh. Get that. DJ, um, can you please play the OP from Utena, DJ? <laughs> Remember when you used to go Imagine up to DJs and like, ask them to play yeah. songs? What the fuck? Yeah. I'll spin it. He's like, I've been waiting for someone to request that for so long. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Anthe, best girl. Although, is she? Mm. Mm. Who knows what Anthe's up to with her Anthe mother? is sus as... Anthe is... Yeah, she's great. She's not... Like, yeah. she, she, you can't tell what her intentions are. Oh which I kind of love, but I kind of also just hate as yeah. well. I, just, I can I see why people it. were slapping her. <laughs> <laughs> no, I shouldn't say that. No. She got slapped like half the first arc. So many so times. So bad for her. So many times. I was so happy that yeah. one episode where she got to slap back. Yeah, like, that was yes. great. Anyway, we should wrap this up. Yes. Uh, infinite underscore minute on Twitter. Uh, and infinite minute... Wait, did you say? Oh, infinite podcast at gmail.com. That's right. That's and, it. like, tell us what you've been watching and enjoying, yes, we'd I guess. Love to hear. If you're keeping up with uh, Aquatope, Gayfish. Yes. Um, let us know how baited we are. <laughs> or, yeah. um, if you have any recommendations for things that we are not yeah, watching. Yeah, any recommendations we'd that you think we'll enjoy. Yeah. yeah, there was another skateboarding show that aired the same season as Skate, and I always wonder about that. Alternate wow, reality. really? I did yeah. not know this. Yeah, pretty sure. Maybe it we'll was have to watch different. an episode of it. Maybe we should. I'll try and find it. Anyway, bye. Oh. <laughs> what a way to end. Bye. bye.